to the cloud. All right, Nancy, we started. <laughs> Happy Today, February 1st. Today's a brand new day. You know what I found out? It's in bulk, I-M-B-O-L-C, which is the sacred day of Bridget, which is halfway between um, uh, the winter and the spring. Wow. So not only is it, a, is it February 1st, not only are you the seventh person that I'm doing this energy painting for, but it's also a, a very sacred feminine day. It's like one of the most sacred feminine days of the year, and neither one of us knew that that was happening. Wow. So it's really, it's really amazing. So I wanted to tell you a couple of things that I got before I started this. I felt the need to wear really strong colors with you. I just felt the need. I mean, I, I haven't worn this top in a very long time. And mm -hmm. I just, the colors, there, there's something about you and really relating to vibrancy. It's really important. And it's funny, I, I don't know, I can't tell, but this color that I'm wearing is the same color that you're wearing around here. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's almost the same color. So anyway, so it was really interesting to me. And you know, sometimes when I do these things, I get various colors to wear in addition to how I paint. So what I want you to, to know is that, um, you know, this is really an adventure. It's really an adventure. I, I started doing this, um, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe six months ago was the first time I did an uh, energy painting. And just so you'll know a little bit of the background, just a little bit, I realized that I had this talent where I could pick up people's energy as I was around them and working with them. And it would translate through my hands. It would translate wow. through the colors. It would translate through the designs. And I, I guess I, I hear colors as other people see them. And so I also get some messages and I, I get some intuitions as I'm painting. You know, it's really interesting to me. And one of the things I wanted to say uh, a little bit, uh, just a touch, before I started um, coming here today, actually it started a little bit last night, just want you to know, I felt a little bit of sadness around you. And I, I didn't know if there was something in your personal life that was um, causing a little bit of sadness but I felt it and I want you to know that I view you as being this vibrant spirited person but I felt some sadness and I I didn't know where it was from or, or what it was coming from but I just sensed it so we'll see what happens and and, and what comes out but there there is a little bit of that going on it, it, is that a little bit, am I a little bit untuned to that or? Yeah, yeah you are, definitely. Um, yep, yeah, last night was an interesting evening. Um, I, we have a lot of, we have two teenage boys and they had all of their friends come over last night. Yeah. So I just thought I had to stay there just to make sure everyone was safe because they were choosing to drink and smoke. And I was just needing to have presence for that. And I guess maybe I, I had some feelings come up with, you know, what I should be or what, you know, feelings about what type of person am I that I'm allowing this to happen because I wanted to keep, keep the boys safe. Um, and yesterday I actually had, I think with you and, uh, I reached out to one of our older son's roommates. They were older son who's a little bit troubled. He's an adult. But it went really well. So maybe I was releasing what was some sadness from that. Yeah. And yeah. just, yeah. So nothing major, um, but just some things that I think I was meant to release as I, we started today, this first day of a new month. Well, then it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the camera. Okay. You can start seeing me painting. And um, hold on, here we go. I'm going to I'm going to switch the camera. All right. Now you can see everything, right? Yes. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush. I have no idea why I'm going to, I'm using this brush, but I'm I the first thing I'm feeling with you is pink, not not pink pink, but more of a, a maroony pink. You know, like your life once again needs to go into this vibrancy or honoring the vibrancy that is around you. You know, so often when people are really vibrant, they'll they won't surround themselves with a lot of vibrant colors. And I think in your case, vibrant, vibrant, vibrant. You need vibrant colors. You need vibrant colors around you. Mm. And, and I'm probably picking up, <laughs> I start to laugh sometimes. You have to excuse me. <laughs> sometimes I start to laugh and I get, get, you know, I get that freedom. Freedom is um, a really important thing with you. You need to be free and you need to do things that, that honor that freedom for you. I don't know if, if that's, wow. I'm not, I'm not, I'm yeah, not, that's, I'm not, that's very true. Oh my gosh. That's so yeah, true. Yeah. You, it, it's just like, you need, you need your space. Yeah. You need your space. And Wow, this is really interesting. Independence is really important for you. And you know, it's, it's very interesting because I never married. So I, I'm so independent, you know, I'm really independent. But I can only imagine that when one is married with a husband and, you know, two kids or four kids or two kids or whatever, you know, it's really a juggling act. And I think that that's something that, um, you know, you, you have to deal with. You just bright. Everything about you is bright. You're just bright. Yeah, I love it. You're just bright. You, I, I mean, I, I'm not, I haven't used this many paints and, and, and you're just very, very bright. And how, how this is turning out, which is, I think, sort of interesting. Who knows how it's going to finish. But you're in a growth phase. It's really important for you right now to allow yourself to grow and honor that and, and know that, that, that it's part of your life right now, that you're growing, you're growing, you're growing. And not to, not to discount that. Mm. Am I making any sense at all? Yes, you are. I mean, wow. I think yeah. what I, what I, what I, what I, oh my God. It's like this, <laughs> you have to understand, the, as I said in one of, the, one of the sessions that I did before, I'm not a narcissist. I'm really not a narcissist. No. But, but as I paint, I go, oh my God, you know, this is great. <laughs> But, what, but one of the things that I see, and I don't know if you can see this, I just see you flowering. You're flowering. You're flowering. You're flowering. And, and um, look at this. Look at this. It's like a big flower. Wow. You see this? It, be, it looks so... Um, I like that the brush strokes are, are upward. They're, they're all reaching upward. And that's to me, that's growth. Yeah, and they're they're completely, totally filling the page. It's really interesting to me. Wow. It's really interesting. Um, you just it's pink and coral and magenta. Oh, I'm sorry. That's my I I, I know my email. I don't want to touch it or I'll get out. But you know that's one of my colors is orange or coral. Well. I'll tell you my, my take. 
which I think is really interesting. If you've noticed, the darker magenta is coming through a lot more strongly, but the orange is in the background. In other words, it's not ready to completely let go. So orange is something, you know, we have, we have forward movement coming from a place. So let's say your place for you has been that orange color. But I'm just using that symbolically. Yeah. Now you're going to a richer, deeper, more vibrant tone of it for your life. And mm. if you can keep that in mind, if you can keep it in mind that as you're moving forward, you're enriching what it is that you already know about yourself. I just think that what happens a lot, particularly with women, is boundaries, boundaries. Where are our boundaries with others? Yeah. Where are our God boundaries? And this is saying to me, <laughs> I know nothing about your family or your life, but you are ready to break out. <laughs> and anytime you feel is as though someone is getting in the way. I don't, you know, I don't know, what word can I use? Sometimes when people are in front of us, we, we very often, myself included, we try and conform to them. And I think in your case, um, it's time for you to conform to you. Mm. Yeah. Does that make wow. Sense? Yep. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Th um, yeah. This year is a very pivotal year. Our uh, oldest son, or one of our sons, is graduating, and there's just so much more. Freedom. Freedom that's, that is open to me that wasn't before. Yes. Uh, and the old way that I was needing to be is no longer. Right. So you then have the opportunity to really and truly Expand, break out. Uh, you're just a really, really vibrant person. You're just a really vibrant person. I, I, and it's time. Wow. I'm gonna go. Hold on. I'm gonna go shut the door really quick. There we go. Wow. I'm using a lot of strokes with you. Wow. Look at this so far. Whew. Look at this. That is so dynamically alive. Look at that. Wow. That is amazing. I know. I, I watched your, uh, the links that you gave me and I was transfixed and you're, everyone is so different. So totally. Wow. Different. So totally different. One, when I was working with, um, Susanna Liller, she was my first one that I did. I think, no, Lori, Lori, I don't know who was in person. Anyway, Susanna Liller, angels came through the whole painting. And I wow. painted it. So what happened was, is that I finished it. And then I held it up and she said, oh my God, there are angels in the painting. And there were. It was like amazing. And I had no idea. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how many times I can say it. Vibrancy, Nancy, vibrancy. Okay. And also, 
I want to say this in a very interesting way because it's, it's counterintuitive. But freedom is really a big deal for you and going with the flow and not going to, with the flow based on your reaction to other people. You know, in other words, let's say somebody might say something that's weird and you go, oh, I'll just go with the flow with that. I am saying or feeling that it is really important for you to go with your own flow and to take that yoga and to take all that, you, you know what yoga brings to you. It brings to you that sense of inner peace and freedom and, and you, you know, you feel the flow and you feel alive and whatever. You need to take that feeling and put it into the rest of your life in a flowing kind of a way where you are feeling in alignment with yourself. You know, one of the things that I, I find to be really interesting, women are so unbelievably intuitive. I mean, they're so intuitive. I'm sure there are millions of men who are intuitive too. I haven't met any, but <laughs> you know, you are very intuitive and it would, would be a wonderful thing for you to follow, to trust your intuition and follow it. Are you still there? Yes, I'm processing that. That is, uh, yeah, that is so very true. Um, I, I just, I think I'm just coming into the magnitude of work I meant to do for women. Uh, yes, in teaching and coaching and writing. And, and stepping into that power. Yeah. Stepping into that power, you know, very often I myself, it, it, this has been very much my life. For years when I was doing Spirited Woman, I wanted to be in the background. I wanted to be in the background. I wanted to be in the background. I wanted everybody else to be before me. Okay, well, that, I understand that. I really understand that. But there comes a time where I have to own up to the fact that there are, there are thousands of women who want me to leave them because that's the role that I'm in. And the same thing is true with you. You are stepping into a leadership situation where you are gonna be leading others. And it's wonderful to own it and to own it as to who you are. Mm. You don't have to change for them. You do not have to change for them. And I think what happens is, is that we go through so much you know, that we want to change for, we want to twist this a little and turn this a little and, and, and twist this a little in anticipation of what others want, whereas really what others want is you. Yes. Wow. Mm. You don't have to twist and turn. You just are. What would be really good for you? I should, probably, I should probably put this somewhere in the painting. But you say, I am, I am, I am. You know, you can end it any way you want. I am unstoppable. I am happy. I am joyful. I am perfect the way I am. It's just that it's that ownership of I am. You know, and I'm talking this way like, oh, you know, I got this down. If I had this down, really? <laughs> You really think I, I'd be, you know, te teaching women's empowerment? There'd be no need because I'd have a job. We teach what we need to know. Oh, yeah. Yes, we do. Yep. Oh, I, this is really amazing. It is. I'm using all of this one color. By the time I finish with you, I'm going to have to get new paint. Oh, my gosh. You know, it's interesting. So I showed you where my, my desk is. And for the longest time, I wanted to get something to put on the wall behind me, but I kept putting it off. It was because I needed this. I needed that. Well, I, I'll to say, I am not Picasso. <laughs> no. I am definitely not Picasso. I can tell you that for a fact. But energetically, I mean, uh, energetically, I think this will be wonderful for you. Oh, wow. Okay. 
I had no idea I got here. And look, look at this, look, look at this color. Wow. Look, it's this. That is, I just, the human, the human spirit and intuition are it's unstoppably just and just, I yeah. Just, oh, this is pretty. All right, now I have to figure out how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna, and I don't think, originally I thought, well, maybe I'll put green on the bottom. But I don't think so. I think, I think, I think it needs to go the whole way, interestingly enough. And then I'll, I'll do more stuff in it. So like this, more like this. Here, and you can see, you can see that the orange is in it, but very subtly. Yeah, I see that. Very subtly. Hold on, let me see. Hold on. what I want to do with the purple. But, okay, one of the things that I'm picking up is that, you see how my strokes on the bottom, I don't know if you can tell, but they're going, they're going to the left, they're going to the right, whereas these all are go all going this way. And what this means to me on the bottom, I think, I don't know, you would think I've been doing this for 10 years, but I haven't. <laughs> but what I think it means to me is that there were a lot of different, different directions that you were going, a lot of different directions. Mm -hmm. I don't know what those directions are, but there were a lot of different directions that you were going in. And you're ready now to be more unified in your decisions. Yeah. I, I, am I? That is so true. Yep. Yes. I just sense that. Yeah. I just sense that. It's like, okay. But you want to know what's interesting? Look at this. Okay. Look at this. Do you see how the lines are going this way and they're going this way? They're going this way. Can you tell? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That is lighting a fire underneath you to go that way. It's like, wow. you're, not, you're not gonna take it anymore. Yep. <laughs> you're, yeah. not, you're not gonna take it anymore. It's like this, and I've only done this side, but this fire is gonna push you forward. And you have to, I have, you have to acknowledge that because that fire comes from within you. Nobody, nobody else, that fire comes with, from within you, nobody else. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. And, and I think you understand what I'm talking about. Yep. Because oftentimes when we live with people who are very strong, it's a whole different deal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. And that is what's very fascinating is the work that I am doing with women. That's probably what it is that you have to find your own voice within you amidst all of your roles and identities and obligations. And that is a personal, very personal journey. Yes, it is a very personal journey. And we all get there in our own due time. Yeah. All right. So. All right. All right. Another way of looking at this, which 
I think is really interesting. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not a narcissist, I promise. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you're not. I don't think I'm so fabulous. Oh, this is so interesting. God only knows, you know. Uh, uh -oh. But I guess that's part of the process for me that I, because I hear the colors and because I sense them and I feel them, I guess I'm acknowledging myself as I go along, which is very interesting. That's um, beautiful, Nancy. <laughs> That's beautiful. Who the heck knows? All I can tell you is, is that, so well, this is what I started to say. What you have on the bottom is wings. These are wings. Ah. And here's the deal. Even though there was a lot of cross purposes on the bottom, you know, in other words, you were going this way, you were going that way, you were going this way, you were going that way. What was really happening for you is that you're, you, you, you're very strong. You know, you're a very vibrant, strong woman. And I think the spiritual world just wants you to know that you were always carried by wings. Because oh, that's that's. I have goosebumps right now. Yep. Wow. Because sometimes we never feel that that we have that, you know. Oh yeah. It's funny, I, th I feel like crying with you. It's so funny, I feel like crying right now. And uh, I don't yeah. really have that happen. I feel like crying to myself. Because I think, I think, who, who knows, I think they were giving you a really important message. <sighs> yeah. trying to figure out what to do with the bottom and I don't know I don't know it's like I want to make this more of wings because that's really important the wing concept is really important if you remember nothing else from today and of course you're going to remember everything <laughs> because we're recording this um, just remember, wings. 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 Wings always there. They're always there. And they've been there your whole life. From the time you were born. Hmm. Oh, that is magnetic, vibrant. <laughs> only, I've only used two colors. Wow. All right. Now, let me, let me do this. Is that a good side? Yes. That is an affirmation. <laughs> I hope so. Oh my. Yeah. I hope so. This is very, it's just very symbolic that we're doing this on with all of these symbolic meanings and that it's still the start of a new year and a new decade that 
Yeah, it's a new year. Oh. It's a new decade. New month. New month. It is. Uh, it's in bulk or however it's pronounced. The, the day of Goddess Bridget, which is so crucial for women. It is. All right. Now, let's see, hold on here. And she's very symbolic of the divine feminine, you know, pink women. And it's interesting that that happened too. Yeah. Wow. All One other spot. Wow. Yeah, it's almost as if I'm being asked to cover up the light pink. It's almost as that is just so interesting to me. It's like no light pink, no light pink. All right, so here, <laughs> here is. The image. Wow. <laughs> now, I don't know if I need to do a little bit more on this side. Uh, and I want you to think about this because we're going to name this and I'll sign it and it'll be named to you. Um, and how do you how do you feel about it? Do you feel as though it's completed? Do you want me to fill in more? Uh, I, I like, I'm very, it's very fascinating, Nancy, that at the bottom, there's that white. It, it's like, it, it's, it's grounded. If you look, it's grounded at the bottom and it shoots up. Yes, and because this is very symbolic of the wings. And, and it's, let me take a look. Let me see. Do you want me to, do you want me to do more on this side? Do you want me to do more on this side? Do you want me to do more on the bottom? The bottom has to stay as it is. I, that that's so because it. I think it's it's pointing to being grounded, but being held up. And what? Okay, if you put it back down, I want to. I, I don't know if I can point to, but at the very top, uh, the very top, very top of the page, it's like there's little shootings of uh, at the very very. You know, you have the bottom and you have the top. Yeah. Like there's little inklings of feathery light color, like angelic or I don't know. Do you want me to to do more on the left side and more on the top? And maybe try something at the top. Whatever comes out, I don't know. I'm I just noticed that that is all right. I don't want to fill in too much. No, no, I I I don't think so. I think. That feels very complete. Yeah, here, I, I don't want to do too much more. Actually, it made it more. It made it more feathery. Isn't that interesting? Wow. Uh, there must be a message in that. It made it more feathery. Isn't that wow? Wow. Uh, here, hold on. Made it more feathery. Now I wonder. It made. <laughs> I don't know what oh. I'm going to do about it because it's very feathery on the top. 
You'll be framing well, it. So. Well, feathers are a big deal to me. Well, you got a whole bunch of feathers and, and it, it won't, it won't let me stop. Wow. And they're coming through light pink. And I don't know why, because the rest is coming through solid. Well, light pink is a angel. Let me show you these feathers here. I don't know if you can see them. Do you see yeah. these? Yeah. Those are what I found from my angels. That was one was on the floor in my house. Yes, you told me. And yeah. On the street. Yep. Wow. <laughs> well, they're coming through. And they, and if you notice, everything on the side are feathers. Wow. Everything on the side are feathers. I see that. Oh my goodness. They're wings and feathers. Wings on the bottom and feathers on the side. And then they, it wouldn't let me stop. So it's not even up here, but there are feathers up there. If you want, I can put more feathers on the top. But then that's sort of stopping the process. Where yeah, that, that is just amazing, Nancy. Do you want me to do yeah. anything on the bottom? No. No, that, that ha that's, that's what it was meant to be from you, reading yeah, my no, energy. It's really, I never, I haven't done one where I haven't filled the page. But in your case, I was called not to fill the page. It's, mm -hmm. I think it's really important for you to see the wings. And you wouldn't be able to see the wings if this was filled in. Yeah. So um, I want you to think we can, we can, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to switch out of this. I'm going to go to the regular camera view, but I want you to look at this one more time and I want you to feel what you want to name this and I will uh, name it for you and sign it and date it. Okay. So you take a look. Oh, wow. You don't have to name it today. You can email me or Facebook me or whatever and you can come up. That's what, uh, that's what Kimberly did. It took her a couple of days. Yeah, because right right now I'm getting I am. <laughs> that would be a good. Well, I, I just really didn't realize I forgot the feather story. I forgot the feather story. And everything on the right and the left, they're all feathers. Oh, my gosh. They're all feathers. Yeah. Yes. It, oh, wow. So isn't that amazing? Yes. So hold on. So let me go here. So uh, let's, can you believe this whole thing? Nancy? <laughs> wow. It's amazing. What a journey. What a gift. It's amazing. So tell me, what are your thoughts and, and what, how, how has this made you feel? And, and what do you, you know, what a, you know, what would you like to share? Well, I feel very, I feel very affirmed and open uh, as I, I did, I posted on social media this morning as I went for a walk and I saw a very, my the very first, believe it or not, daffodil of the season. And to me, and it was vibrant, it was bright yellow. Uh, so I just feel the word uh just stepping in really concretely but beautifully into into the work that is mine to do um all of the process of completion is gone and so now i'm being lifted up by this vibrant color and feather to just flourish and fly yeah and it what you said I was thinking of that this morning because I'm, I'm thinking of taking this yoga training that's across the country. It's in California. And I really don't, I don't know why I want to take it. So there's no reason for me to go there to take it. I can take ones here and I really am called to go there. There's that independence and freedom that there's something meant for me to go there. Well, 
yoga yeah. came up as we did this. Yeah. yeah. Yoga came up. It was very symbolic for you in terms of the rest of your life, you know, the other aspects of your life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. So this is like, <laughs> oh, it's really amazing. It's really amazing. It's so, it's so different than the other ones that I've done. Wow. And the color, that, yeah, the, the color that you, the two colors are exactly, and the word vibrant, I just feel very special. Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So let me, let me do this. I'm going to turn off the recording, then I'll get back to you. Um, but I want to say, don't go anywhere, because I'm going to turn off the recording, but I want to okay. say, Thank you so much for doing this with me. Namaste. Is Namaste. We, Namaste, as we say, in a, in a very big way, right? Yeah. So hold 